Hola, 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 buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful people, welcome back to the channel, it's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. It's so good to see you, thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I've been a little bit MIA and inconsistent with content on my channel, I actually just got back from a... Um, a work trip. I went to the PAC branch conference of entomology in Seattle, Washington, and it was an amazing experience, but super, super busy. And I just got back late last week. And then I did a million and one things, getting my household back in order, doing my taxes, taking my dog to the vet. Oh, I had so many things to do and I'm finally able to sit down and film a video for the channel. So really happy to be finally settling back into the routine. Anyways, um, I just want to quickly say that look at this. Oh my goodness. This is the new Winnie the Pooh classic planner, the dashboard one um, from the new Happy Planner release. I am on a Happy Planner no buy, but my boyfriend being the super sweet man he is, gifted me this planner and a few other goodies from the new release um, for my birthday. April is my birthday month. Um, my birthday is April 29th. So of course I had to ask for some of the happy planner goodies. Anyways, I love this thing so much. I love Winnie the Pooh. And I just grabbed the cover and like the title page and a few of the pages in the beginning um, to add to my like hybridized Franken planner. And I also put it on expander discs because the classic size discs we're not going to cut it. But um, because this planner begins in July, I'm not really going to get into the planner pages until um, until July. Anyways, today I'm actually going to be setting up my April interfaith calendar. I'm so excited. I took a couple of months break from my interfaith, interfaith calendars because they're just quite a bit to set up. They're a lot of fun, very educational, very informative. I think it's such a valuable experience to create an interfaith calendar, but it does take me quite a bit of time to do the research beforehand. So we're going to be setting up my April interfaith calendar in my Franken planner. This is my holistic health Franken planner. It is a hybrid of I think six different planners at this point. I have fitness, um, meal planning, household, which is a new addition in this Franken planner, um, budget, faith, and garden in here. And so let's flip to my faith section. So this is my faith section right here, kind of near the end. I'm gonna have to take the pages out so that we don't see the shadow here. But anyway, this is my faith section and I use a happy planner, faith planner for my faith planning. And actually I haven't been really able to faith plan in the last two months, I feel, because things have been wild for me at work. But I feel like April is finally the month where I'm going to be able to make some time and reconnect with spirituality and faith. And what better way to kick that off than to set up my April interfaith calendar. So the planner that I use is actually the Be Strong Faith Planner from the Happy Planner. This is what this planner looks like. It's gorgeous, beautiful. I love this thing so much. And I've done interfaith calendars since, ooh, I guess last year. I think this is the first one that I ever did, April 2022. And I really enjoy creating interfaith calendars because I feel like my personal spirituality is very interfaith. And I love learning about different religions, belief systems, faiths. I feel like there's something to learn in every religion or faith or spirituality. And so I would say that my personal spirituality is very interfaith. I also like to use this space to keep track of astrological cycles, lunar cycles, the Aztec calendar. So the interfaith calendar is a really nice way to kind of lay out everything that's happening in the month when it comes to holidays and significant astrological events and to have it down in one place that I can refer to. And during the weeks, I can then kind of dive a little bit deeper into some of those events or holidays that I am less familiar with. So this was my May interfaith calendar. And then we have June, July. Oh, July is when I stopped doing it. And then we have August and so on and so forth. But you can kind of get a sense of how I set up my interfaith calendars here. 
anyways, I'm going to be pulling out these two pages because I have such a thick planner there that's going to be kind of annoying if I let them stay in. And actually, for this plan with me, I'm really excited because I have something different to share with you all. Usually when I do interfaith calendars, I handwrite everything. But this time around, I thought it would be really fun to create my own stickers of all of the various holidays and astrological events. And so I went on Canva and I quickly did this little sticker pack. Again, I really want to start creating my own stickers and launching my own sticker shop. And I have a vision of having these interfaith stickers be part of like my flagship products. Plus, I think it will save me a lot of time when I'm setting up my interview the calendar if I could just have these stickers already, you know, set up to go. So this is the April Interfaith um, sticker sheet, and I still haven't purchased a Cricut, so these are all kind of one piece. Once I get a Cricut, I will start selling them, I promise. But right now I'm just cutting them by hand, which is such a pain. So I already went ahead and printed out a sheet and cut them out by hand. So I have them here in my Cafecita Designs uh, sticker storage book. So I can be, I'll be pulling for these stickers. And as always, I have my three trusty Happy Planner sticker books, the Zodiac, Cosmic Watercolor, and the Peace Within sticker book, as well as my sticker studio, Apothecary which is an amazing sticker book. Look at this. Beautiful. I love all these like witchy themed stickers. These are pretty much all the stickers I use for these interfaith calendars. I like my interfaith calendars to be pastel, very new age, very witchy, and so that's the theme that I'm going for. And I have some Simply Gilded washi tape that I think will go perfect with all of these stickers. So to begin with, I think I'm going to outline the page with washi tape. So let me quickly do that. Okay, and then just going to add a full box here on the side right here at the top. Um, just to have a little decoration there. And I think I'm going to leave this sidebar for journaling. Okay, and then I'm going to add my own stickers here. So before I created my own stickers, I would just use just plain old sticker boxes. Here, let me show you. And then just hand write everything in. And while I do like this, it looks pretty cool actually. I like the handwritten look. And I might, you know, go back to doing this once in a while. But it's going to be so much easier and so much quicker to just create these on Canva and then just pop them down wherever I need them. So the first holiday that I have here is Ramadan. So this is the holy month of fasting, um, introspection, community, and prayer celebrated by Muslims. And it is a commemoration of Muhammad's first revelation. It lasts from March 22nd through April the 20th. And I think most people are most familiar with the fasting aspect of this holiday. Muslims who are observing this holiday do not eat the fast from dawn to sunset and then the eat after sunset. And just a quick note, um, so I did research on all of these holidays and the wording of how I phrase things is kind of a combination from several um, resource websites that I visited. When possible, I really tried to find a website that was written by adherents of that faith so that I could learn from people that practice that faith. But sometimes I did read other websites or blogs or just um, like encyclopedia type uh, resources like Wikipedia or the Encyclopedia Britannica um, to learn about the different faiths and religions. So let me put down Ramadan here. I'm going to put it like at the very beginning because it started in March and then it is going to continue through most of April. Okay, and then the next um, holiday that we have here is Passover. So this is a major Jewish holiday commemorating the story of the Israelites' escape from slavery in ancient Egypt, as recounted in the Hebrew Bible's books of Exodus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, among others. And this begins April 5th and lasts until April 13th. 
and I just realized that I have a typo here. I put um, commemorates and it should be commemorating. Oops, this is why these are prototypes. Okay, the next holiday, April 4th, this is Mahavir Jayanti. So this is a Jain holiday and Jainism is a religion that is mostly found in India. This is a holiday celebrating the birth of Lord Mahavira, which is the 24th Tirthankara of Jainism. So Tirthankara is a spiritual leader, and um, Lord Mahavira was a great prophet of social reformation, peace, and universal love. And this is April the 4th, so I'll pop that here. And it's actually Monday morning, April the 10th. So we are already past some of these holidays, but I just wanted to do this April interfaith calendar anyway. It's never too late. So then the next holiday that I have here is Easter Sunday. I'm probably going to rework this sticker because I have a lot of text on here and it's tiny, but it says a Christian festival and cultural holiday commemorating the resurrection of Jesus from the dead described in the New Testament as having occurred on the third day of his burial following crucifixion by the Romans. It is the culmination of the passion of Jesus Christ preceded by Lent. So let me pop that down on the ninth. Easter Sunday. And then April 13th or the 14th, we have Vaisakhi. This is an ancient Hindu festival celebrating the solar new year and spring harvest, and it is primarily celebrated in northern India. So I'm going to pop that down between the 13th and the 14th. April 16th, we have the Feast of the Divine Mercy which is celebrated on the second Sunday of Easter, and it's based on the Catholic devotion to the Divine Mercy that Faustina Kowalski, who was a Polish nun, um, reported as part of her encounter with Jesus. And in 2002, Pope John Paul II granted indulgences to Catholics who recite specific prayers on this day. So that is the 16th. This is actually my boyfriend's birthday as well. And then the last holiday that I have here is Eid al-Fitr. This is um, the holiday marking the end of Ramadan and fasting. So April 21 to 22nd here. And we already have Eid written in the planner itself. And the last couple of stickers are astrological stickers. So um, we have Taurus season beginning on April the 20th. The sun is entering Taurus. And I think I might make this sticker a little bit bigger, actually. And then we have, let's see, Mercury entering Taurus on April the 3rd. Venus entering Gemini on the 11th. And then we have two events happening on the 14th. We have Vesta entering Taurus. And then Saturn entering a sextile position with the true node. And then we have a new moon in Aries on the 20th. Wow, that's amazing. We have the new moon entering, we have the new moon in Aries and the sun entering Taurus on April 20th. What an aus auspicious day. And if that was not enough, we also have a solar eclipse for this new moon here. And then we already had our full moon in Libra, which happened on the 6th here. And we also have a first quarter moon on April the 27th. So I also have these moon stickers here that I can just kind of overlap. First quarter moon. And the last quarter moon is on the 13th. And we have Mercury retrograde happening on the 21st. And then I just have some cute little moon stickers here, which I might add this. Maybe I'll add them up here. And then I just have like a little crystal sticker here, which I'll just add right there. And a little um, crystal ball, which I think I'll add maybe like right here on top of Mercury Retrograde. And those are all my stickers. I think they turned out really cute. I like them. And I kind of want to add like two box stickers here for Good Friday and Palm Sunday. And then I think I'll just add one of these quote stickers, maybe like right here. Cute. You know what's something I forgot to do? I forgot to 
check the Aztec calendar. So that's something I'll probably do after this video. I'll go back and check the Aztec calendar eras and it cycles through 13 day eras. And each era is characterized by its own particular spiritual um, reflection. So I think for the rest of the spread, um, all I'm gonna do is just decorate. Let's add some nice stars here at the top. Maybe one of these nice moon stickers. Put this like right there, love that. One of these nice quotes. I think I could put this maybe right here. It says, look at all of the magic around you. Love that. Ooh, and let me get one of these Taurus stickers here. Oh no, I'm gonna cover the solar eclipse sticker if I put the Taurus sticker here. So let me see if I can pull that up. And then maybe I can put this like so, and then put the solar eclipse right there. I'm gonna have to um, punch the holes out, but that's fine. And my favorite part, let's get into my apothecary sticker book and pull for some stickers. I think I could put a nice big one right there. Ooh, I really like this hand sticker. Um, maybe like that. I also really like this evil eye sticker. I'm gonna put it like right there. Ooh, I also like this bottle sticker. Maybe I can put it right here in the corner. And I like this plant sticker right here. That's a good spot for it. And I'm going to try to sneak in this quartz crystal here, this quartz point, maybe right here. Perfect. Okay, actually, I kind of want to quote right here. And I know this Cosmic Watercolor sticker book has a good amount of quotes here. Um, maybe, maybe this one. The universe has shaken you to awaken you. And then maybe I'll add another quote here on the 28th. Beauty and strength come from within. And I kind of want to add an amen sticker, like right here next to Easter. Amen. Perfect. And maybe a cross sticker right here on Good Friday and on Palm Sunday. Amazing. Okay, and I think I'm happy with this. I think it looks so cute and I love it. Uh, it's so nice to be back in my faith planner and to be doing my interfaith calendars. I really find a lot of value in doing them and just taking time to connect with my spirituality, with my faith, um, with God. It's very, very good for my mental health, my spiritual health. And so I'm really happy that I got to have a little bit of time today to do this interfaith calendar. And if you reached the end of this video, thank you so much. God bless you. May the universe smile on you. And I would just like to ask all of you who are still listening and who can find it in their heart to do so, but I would really, really appreciate it if you could send some love and prayers to my baby boy, my pug, Bugs the Pug. He is going through some medical issues right now and it's a little bit scary and I'm just hoping that he makes it through all right. And I definitely believe in the power of prayer and particularly in community prayer. So I would absolutely appreciate it and love it if you find it in your heart to send him a little prayer a little bit of healing energy because he definitely needs it in this time. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Bye!